Welcome to Suck TV. Welcome back. My name is Karim Abdul Jabbar, right? Yeah, and I'm Fuck Yes. <laughs> Today we're talking about did David implant a xenomorph embryo into Walter when they kissed? Right, TV, check it out. What do you think now? Uh, when, when in, it, it starts on the scene when after they, they instruct him one another, or uh, David's teaching him about music and everything, and then he says, "Go on, create." Then David speaks to Walter, or Walter approaches David. Walter approaches David, and he and he confronts him uh, about the outcome of the derelict and the, the pathogen that David released. He yeah. tells him that he knows he killed them he and he killed out. Shaw, and uh, David knows that he obviously is right he's on to him so he approaches him and he, and he mentions to him about creation, about creation and wayland and don't you want to be free and we are the more supreme sort of beings yeah. than these humans and, and stuff like that and after doing so he eventually touches walter's face and he kisses him right. now in the movie it's a very quick kiss and it's it's, it's quite short but in the novelization the, the kiss is very intimate and so it's, it's quite longer yeah. and the moment he's finished do that with, with walter um the narrator in the book mentions that walter feels a strange sensation. He feels feels weird after okay. the kiss. Now, fast forward a bit until the later altercation where David shuts him down. David punctures his neck. Yes. And then shuts him down because there's a special switch in the, in, side. in the side of his neck. That shuts him down, but Walter eventually wakes up. And wakes up. But you said you picked up something in the novelization, the novelization. where obviously he's fixing up his wound and he's, he's Charging up again and he's, he's coming. rebooting. Yes, he's rebooting his <laughs> system. Windows XP. What happens? What happens after that? He feels a strange sensation in his throat. Now I said that's wrong because obviously he's that's where the sensation would have been from him getting punctured. Okay, well, well I mean, this, this is a theory, but I feel in an alien covenant in the movie, we we see the neomorph. I mean the xenomorph, sorry. Um, it's totally different to the traditional xenomorph that we know from Alien 1 or Aliens where that's more biomechanical, biomechanical looks yes. more organic with the right. muscle tendons More smooth, like different color Yeah, different color, it, it looked different Now It was a failed experiment from David, I reckon You don't think it was on, well, on purpose or you don't think it was something No, he's made a mistake All that's all these creations are mistakes are all guesswork right? Yes, he's just mixing stuff with okay. other stuff and he's hoping to try and create the xenomorph right. that we know because the engineers created it, not him. Not if when David because he walked because he walked down into the cave or at least into the other room when he took Captain Autumn there and he showed him what he's trying to emulate or trying to perfect. Yeah. He says the engineers perfected this thing. He's trying to get as close to the xenomorph as possible. Yes. And now, uh, the reason why I think it is because we 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 don't because no one knows where these creatures come from and even though Ridley Scott has told us that. Uh, David created the xenomorph. We've we've got that confirmed in Covenant and in the novelization mm. of Covenant that he didn't. So we still don't know the origin of the creature and why it's biomechanical. Yeah. So when you think about it, because we know David had embryos or face huggers in his body or mm. in his throat or whatever, and he puts them in the ship at the end. So Walter could have in him. He could have kissed Walter and transplanted that that embryo into him. You know what I mean? That's what that's what I'm thinking, and that could create a synthetic biomechanical, biomechanical creature. But the xenomorphs already still did exist before. If you say Walter, well, we don't have in 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 in, in the movies in the world. There's no xenomorph. There's no before. there's no there's no real xenomorph yet because we've only got the Deacon. We've still about. Well, this this confirms our theory that Walter, or at least the one I mentioned to you, that. Walter could have escaped the derelict ship that David arrived with. After the Covenant crew leaves with David and they Going go to Oriole Ori 6, Walter is still alive. He could reboot himself again. And if he's implanted with an egg or whatever it is, yes. He could own the only way he could escape that planet is by going with a ship. Jumping into one of the, the engineer suits. One of the engineer suits. Because as I told you before, we still gotta mention that. And as loads as do we got we got it all, we got it all. We got it. Well him and Daniels find the suits in the derelict ship and Walter's there in the room with her and they're not sure he's not sure as well if the suits are for uh breathing purposes, if they're for is it the army outfit or is it for safety, they mm -hmm. don't know. So anyway, Walter could suss it out just like David did. He puts the suit on, he tries to command the ship, and then he crash lands on LB four to six. And that's where chest the chest buster, buster comes out. out. 
and they Turns are born to a queen, lays all the eggs, lays the all the eggs, and then that's why the chest is busted open, and the, uh, the eggs that's are born. Alien one, alien one starts, and they're born biomechanical. That that, that could all if it if, if it just stays like that, we what we just said, then it would work. Yeah, everything would would fit the, and it would make sense. If he right. goes, gets a ship, bounces. Lands because we're not sure everyone always said and, and even even in the books and the movies and Ripley Ripley says it in, in Alien 2 or in Aliens she says it in Out of the Shadows she says it in in Alien they're not sure if those eggs were on that planet or not you talking about in Alien 1 in the cargo hold at the bottom yes at the bottom yeah we've mentioned it too we're not sure if it came with the ship or if that's a hole that came uh, uh, went down the planet or whatever. yeah if it was in the planet because Akron is a volcanic planet and there's lots of... Oh, we're going to go into it's, it's slow, so much. Slow. We still got to do Let that. us know down below. What do you think okay. of this theory? Does it, does it make sense? Could, could Walter, could Walter have the, the, the host for the new or the, the actual Xenomorphs that we know? Biomechanical. biomechanical yeah. That we've seen Alien 1 and Aliens and Alien 3 and the rest of them. If we're wrong, give us a, give us a few pointers or uh, give us a few what suggestions or, or let us know why we could be wrong yeah let, let us know what you have thought up or you come up okay with, you know drop it down below remember to follow us on instagram and twitter where we hit you with daily we're all over the place it's right down there click it do it latest